Well, this is the pirate portion of the program. Of course, any trip to Ocracoke would not be complete without something about pirates in it. Of course, you all know that just offshore here in 1718, the pirate Blackbeard was killed in battle within sight of Ocracoke here. So with that uh, knowledge of that history there, this lady over here wrote a play in 1974 called A Tale of Blackbeard. This is the cast shirt from the 1994 production. It's a, it's a very old shirt. My wife says I never throw anything away, and this proves it. But this actually has the 91 cast names on the back, too. 94 cast, I mean. So during a period from 1974 till 1994, when Oprah Coke was much more laid back and life was much easier for most of the people that live and work here, we could put this play on in the summertime, and we had uh, nine years during that 20-year period when the play was performed one or two nights a week. Um, local people came in, took a cast of maybe 30 or so to put it on with the stage people and all. And uh, quite a pretty big production, three acts. It had many pirates, it had dancing girls, it had <laughs> historical things, it had drama. La romance, lots of things in it. Uh, in 1991 and 1994, I was fortunate enough to get to play the part of Blackbeard. Uh, at that time, my beard was much darker. <laughs> I had much more hair, and I was much younger, more like Blackbeard was. But we we like to keep the ochre coat tail of Blackbeard alive, so we like to pull some of the songs out and do some of those. And uh, Tonight, you'd like to reminisce a little bit through the Blackbeard show and also to um, um, feel, feel like we're keeping it going anyway. So tonight, though, I do not have a pirate crew with me any longer. Haven't had one in 20 years, but I'd like to recruit you to be my crew tonight. Would you help me do a pirate song? Okay. How, have anybody, has anybody here seen the Blackbeard play? We're here, there's a couple hands back there, a few, okay. Well, this, this song is called the Avast song, and Avast is a great pirate word. And um, uh, this is in the early part of the play, and uh, the pirates are ready to come ashore to Ocracoke to meet the village girls, go to Euphemia's boarding house, and uh, have a carousing, rousing time. But they've been at sea for a long time. So they're ready to get off the ship. So they sing this song to get ready for it, to tell them how happy they are to be pirates. It, I'm going to, this is the chorus, and you come in in the chorus, and I will sing three verses. And by the time we get to the end of the third one, with the help of the people who've seen the show, uh, you will know this little jingle, and you'll probably be singing it the rest of the week you're here. <laughs> so here's the way the chorus goes. It goes, a vast, a vast, the cat hardy band and the hip will raise our tankards high take another swig but if we could get our hands on him we throw him in the brig that's pretty simple you can be pirates and get that let your inner pirate out tonight okay you'll get it after okay here we go I've traveled far, I've traveled wide across the stormy seas. I've never met another bloke who's traveled much as me. I'm black when my traveling days are through, no fewer words are spoken. I hoist my sails and sent my ship back here to go. and all that I survey. If anyone should cross me for his crime, he'll surely pay. When I retire, my meanness and bad deeds I'll put revoke. And I'll hoist my sails and set my ship back here to I'll be 
be singing thus ten years from now, unless my neck gets broke, when I'll hoist me sails and set my ship back here to work.